Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I am talking about Legacies, season number one, episode number three. We're being punked, Pedro. And this episode is directed by um, Carol Banker. And here we have a lot of things happening. Now we have, because of, because of um, last episode and what, and what went down, you had the, the kids of, uh, 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 um, I, I, I want to say Hogwarts, but it's not called Hogwarts. It's called, um, I forgot the name of the school now. What the boy? What, any, anywho, the kids at the magical school had to do, had to do some um had to do some cleanup. They got to do some community service, pick up trash, clean up graffiti off 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 the of buildings. Because what because of what happened. And so they don't like it. They got to do it. They they're not happy about it. It's understandable, but it's, but it had to be done. And so while they're dealing with that, you had the muggles who decided to come and mess with them, which is not good. I mean, here's the thing. It's one thing to be a winner. There's nothing wrong with that. Winning is, is good. But to be a butt about it, that's just a pain. I mean, you got to be a pain, too. You got to be a bunch of bullies and a bunch of douches. Like, just, just, just act nice. There's nothing wrong with that. These kids are not bothering you. Don't bother them. If only they knew what these kids can do to them, they would leave them alone. <sighs> And while and while that's going on, you also got some teen drama stuff going on. You got you got MG, who's in, who has a little crush on Josie, and he's trying to get her attention. And so the only way he can he think he get his attention, he start he's, he's making out with, the, with one of the girls, the girl from the from the other school who's a pain in the butt. So he thinks that if she sees that, she get all blah blah blah, and then she'll run to him. That's, that's dumb logic, but that's, that's what he thinks. And she's kissing him because she want to get back. She want to get her, 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 her guy. She likes to like her. So yeah, that's uh, teenagers. But while that's happening, well, um, Lizzie gets Lizzie gets. I guess I want to say a, a, attacked in a way, but she gets some some milkshake spilled on her. So she goes back to the school because she's pissed off, and she also mad at her dad because well, even though Hope is being punished too. And you have hope in them, and Josie having a, a, a little bonding moment with, with them, with them, with themselves. He kind of um, takes up for hope a lot more than he does with them. He spends more time with hope than he does with them, which is understandable. I mean, I, I understand why he doesn't, because hope is by herself. I mean, hope. Most her parents, both her parents are dead. Her family's not around, and she's a Michelson. So maybe she's uh, he's, he's trying to make, help her. So, so, so sure that people are there for her. Also, keep her like under control because well, she could turn into a father pretty pretty quickly. So, I said, oh, hey, hold on, things you need to watch. I mean, yes, Josie and Lizzie had their issues too, especially Lizzie. She's not quite completely stable, but he felt as though he had to help 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 out hope a little bit more, which is not good for the girl because they still because all they see is their father turn to another girl who's not their who's not her not their father instead of them. Yeah, which is not good. And and then, while the, while the kids are on the outside dealing with their issues, you got the kids at the school dealing with a girl girl. And this girl girl is after the knife. And the thing is, though, the girl girl now girl girls are are, are protectors. That's what, that's their, that's their job. That's what they do. And so the the girl girl is protect, protecting the knife, and he's also protecting humans. But since, but the thing is, though. Most of the kids at the school aren't really quite human. So, he sees them all as the enemy. Yeah, which is not a good thing at all. Especially for Lizzie. She did not have a good day. Yeah. But we found out, we found out, things, things, we found out things about the gargoyle. We still, we still don't know what, what's going on with the knife. And still, so you see them dealing with that there too. And then, on the, and then on the other outside, you have what's going on. With Raphael and Landon. Now Raphael and Landon are trying to live off the land. They, they stand sitting together like brothers in arms. Eating, eating rabbit. Not having a good time. But they, that's what they're doing. And so you got Landon saying, hey, I got an idea. We can make some money pretty fast. Only difference is you got to use your robot powers. And Raphael said, whatever you want, brother. And whatever you want, I'll do it. And so you got him using his robot powers out in public in front of all these people, which was purely Insane, which gets him, which gets him in trouble, because also gets him exposed to somebody who actually kills, who kills and hunts werewolves. <sighs> so stupid. But they're kids. What can you do? But overall, 
It's a good, pretty much a good episode. Um, you, you still, you still get, you still get, get to know these characters and what they're going through and things like that. Um, you got Hope, who's still dealing with her issues that she's going through. The thing, the thing is, though, she's a Michaelson, and so a lot of times when Michaelson do something, they feel as though they're right, even when they're wrong. And she knows that, she, that doing dark magic was not a good thing, and she should understand that's why she's being punished. But in her head, she says, "I did the right thing," <laughs> and, and so. That's uh, going to be a problem. And then uh, then watching the relationship between... Now, Hope and, and Josie get along just fine. But for some reason, I, I, don't know, I, I don't know why Hope does this, but Hope kind of constantly picks on Lizzie a lot. I don't know if she does that out of because she likes her or she don't like her. So, something about the relationship reason that they, they, they kind of clash the most. And because you understand why Lizzie's upset. Because she's seen her father kind of favor this girl who's not his daughter in front of them. And even and so, so that's that's why she's angry. I had no idea why Hope is so a pain in the butt to, um, to, to Lizzie. I mean, she's nice to Josie at the same time. And, and then it was, a, it was a weird moment there when she, when th after things ended, and she's watching like Josie and Lizzie getting along together, and she's just staring at them like she hates it. Uh, maybe she misses. Maybe she misses her family, and she can't be with them. And so, in a way, she was trying to like steal her sister as her own. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But overall, I did enjoy it. Watching the girl go in action, watching the kids take down the girl. You also find out about the, the counselor. I know. She, I know she's a witch too. From find out about you find out about her. Yeah. So again, a lot of fun. So like I said, like I said, you know these characters, like especially someone like that. You have, you have, um, you have um, MG and you have Caleb. Both of them are vampires. MG is more the, the nice one. He wants to pretty much um, follow the rules, even though he, and, and stuff like that. He's not really the bad boy type. And then you, then you have Caleb, who pretty much saying, "Screw this. We're vampires. We're better than everybody. We don't gotta listen to these people. We don't gotta do this crap." And he even feeds on, he even feeds on the girl like uh, the MG is making out with. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he's going to be, I mean, what kind of path he's going down, but for right now, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. Yeah. Now, the only thing, the only thing about this episode that, 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 messed, that, messed, that messed me up a little bit is the fact that these vampires are teenagers. Which is really messed up. I mean, if, if you think about it, it's really messed up because it's just, they will never get older than what they are. So for like a, for like over a thousand years, they'll still be teenagers. Their love life will suck, because unless unless they only want to date teenage girls, which will not be will probably be annoying after a while. Because when you're two hundred years old, you're talking to this girl who's this, who's like sixteen or seventeen, and you you start to realize, oh crap. This sucks. And the, the, the people who are closer, well, not close to your age, I know it's going to happen, but more mature, it'll look at you as a child. Like, ah, oh, you're screwed either way. You're screwed either way. I'd rather be a werewolf. But not not, not in this world. Like, like the vampires have it better than the werewolves do. Because having a werewolf is cool once you, you're a werewolf, but the, how you get there, that's the part that sucks. Like, why do you gotta kill somebody to become a werewolf? Why don't you just, just, just be a werewolf? Like, if you were born a werewolf, just when you, at a certain, certain time, if you get a certain age, werewolf. Boom! Full moon transforms. Hey, problem solved. But now, but in this world, you gotta kill somebody, and you kill someone, then, then you become a werewolf. I just, like, oh, that's messed up. Like, every werewolf you see now, that you just have seen, is a murderer. Every single one kills somebody to get, to get their powers. Maybe on purpose or by accident. Either way, they kill somebody. Somebody died because of, because of them. That sucks. Ugh. Oh, I guess, but either, it's by all the, the, the down parts. I still I'm still enjoying I'm still enjoying the show, and I, and I like the characters in in the show. So, and now that now and now that Landon and Caleb and now that Caleb Raphael are back up with the school again, things will get a whole lot interesting because you have like you have let's see you have um you have Josie and you have Lizzie, both attracted to Raphael. And then you have um, MG, who likes um, Josie, and Raphael, 
compared to MG, even though MG, both of them nice looking guys, but and uh, Raphael kind of looked like a superhero, so that's, that's kind of he looks like we lose him as a sidekick. And like, uh, like you got Batman here, and then Robin, with not not, not just like regular Robin, like Robin back in the day with the little shorts and the booties, the little booty shoes. I mean, it's adorable. I mean, it's, I, I, like, oh, okay, that's cool and all, but when you see Batman, you it just he looks better. So oh, this is gonna get this is gonna get this is gonna. Somebody's foot is going to hurt. That's all I got to say. Somebody's foot is going to hurt. Uh, who's who, whose foot is going to hurt? I don't know, but it's not going to be fun to watch. Uh, it's going to it's going to be painful. Uh. So leave your comments down below. Let me know you thought of this episode of Legacies. If you haven't watched it, check, leave, leave, if you watch it, check it out for yourself. Hope when you watch it, you will enjoy. It. If I'm watching it too, so give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate, it, like I always say, in my dreams and in my life, I am. The Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.